So here we are, guys. Uh, today we're doing shahaling. Uh, myself, Scott, Scott and Ralph. Ralph. We're tying along today. How are we doing, guys? Not too bad. Not uh, it's Ralph's first Munro today. Mm -hmm. And we're at the Bray of Foss, Bray's of Foss car park. It's getting quite busy, as I imagined, because it's to be like 27 degrees to say today. You can see East Blue Sky. So we're heading up. Right up there, that's Shahalin. The pointed mountain. So what have we got here? We've got the pot noodles. Pot noodles on the go. Uh, even started yet. Porridge we've pots, we're going to have some of that and then we're going to set off all the way up. Should take us about about four hours or something to get up and back down. So not too long. Um, so we're going to finish up with grub and get on the trail. I think the trail is that way, wasn't it? I think Along so. up I there. Hope so. We hope so, way. and then up that way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, so this is us. We're off up the mountain, Shahalin, at last. Uh, it's about 10 past 10. Yeah? Yeah. So, say about four hours. Yeah, no, it's quarter past 10. Quarter past 10. But four hours up and down, depending on how many breaks we have, right enough. Two there we go, there's a wee information board about it. It's Shahalin. You can see it, sit right there, this is a yeah, path That's a car park, there's a forest, going to head up there Pretty straightforward, but it can get quite difficult at the top So I've heard A nice wee bench here So let's get to it Pit stop. Pit stop, tying the laces, they've came loose already. Scott's laces are loose and dangerous. Um, I'm not going to try Pokemon here because they've got absolutely no signal. Signal black spot. We'll see how we are further up the mountain. But so, a wee bit of history about Shahalin because of its unique whale back ridge at the top. You can uh, notice it from any distance right away because of the pointed shape but they used to they used it to weigh the earth the mass of the earth by using some sort of gravitational thing at the top I'm not sure but that was you know, a few centuries ago they done that so that's a wee bit inter interesting information about it it was one of the first places to get all that experiment doing Already something like 20 degrees. It's going to be roasting today. Plenty of water, plenty of stops. Nice water running off the hills there. That's we could fill up your drinking water, string water. Fill up your water bottle. And then there's about a dead goat. Aye. About a meter up there lying in the, the stream just to poison you. You never know, eh? Yeah, what a filter. So we're in amongst all the ferns here. I don't think there's not a lot of midges out now. What do you think? Not feeling anything yet. No, I've not been don't feel any wee bites or anything like that. A lot of other flies, right enough, but no midges. Because that's the time of the year it's starting to, they're starting to dwindle out the midges come September. Until they get them. So like yeah, the start of April. In September time is a really good time to walk because up north, because there's no midges. So that's a wee note to take heed of. Uh, roasting, eh? Roasting. Already. So I don't know how they weigh, they weigh the earth, this Shahalian. Some sort of device. Use this doing magnets or something. Yeah. Aye, I mean you can't really pop the earth on it. Set scales, <laughs> can you? <laughs> But they've done something up there anyway to measure the, the earth. Crazy the scientists. The size of it. Crazy scientists. 
crazy scientists. Well, there you go. Not really sure about the other. The other I think Ben Laws is further that way. I'm not sure. I need to do a wee bit more homework on my Monroe's. As this is my second one in Scots. We're starting to leave behind the car park now. Over there. It's getting really busy in that car park. It's a nice day. So we're currently, currently here. Do not touch that electric fence. At least halfway. At least halfway, yeah. Pretty straightforward path. Nice and easy going right now. What's this here? It's an old uh, house or something. Maybe like pens for the, the livestock or something. Don't really know what's going on here. Set well, first stairs. Scott's bringing a sweat or not? Oh no, no stairs. So I've not got a tripod for the camera, so it's going to make things a bit more difficult. But I'll do my best, try and get some nice footage, for the views, and all that stuff. How are we doing guys? Tired. Tired? So we're starting to hit some more steps on the way up. Starting to climb a bit more. Nothing too bad. Nothing too bad at all. We'll give it another wee half hour and we'll stop for a wee water break I think eh? Alright. Yeah. This is quite an inviting wee spot. It's like uh, King Arthur on the round table, a round stone, isn't it? Yeah, so we'll just perch up here for a couple of minutes, get some water. Look at this. Alrighty. <laughs> right, trips. Right, trips. And I doubt you'll be able to see that, but you can actually see the moon. We Tony up in the sky there. We've sort of got our own pace now, we're on our own up the path. Which is good because I can make a fool of myself in peace. And the distance there that is a uh, Loch Tummel. Over there, Tummel Valley, Caravan Park. Actually, it's little Loch Rannock. I'm not sure. So we're just stopping for another water break. Yeah. As I was explaining to Scott there, that usually mount mountains are like old redundant volcanoes. But Shahali is different because it's the what actually happened in the ice ages, the erosion for all the ice and all that just slid down the hill, which kind of gives it its unique pointed shape. You can see from here all the rocks are kind of sliding down. So it may have been a water slide at one point. There's a valley down there. No signal valley. But that looks to be one of the first fake summits. So you think you're at the top, but you're not. So we have some water now. So we came up all these steps here and we're starting to veer off to the left along the sort of bridge. The views are starting to really open up.
looks like the summit, but it's not. A lot of people dislike this Munro specifically for that reason. So I've decided to sit in this rock and have a, a break just now. Bolter's uh, underfoot now. Hello. Right. Well, this is uh, what used to be the first false summit out of the way. Well, that could be the false summit as well. I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure. So we're still making my way up here. Uh, that appears to be the, the proper path up there, but people seem to be adopting this route because it seems a, a lot easier underfoot. So basically, just basically just following the crowd up. So we're back on the main sort of path now. And that's as you can see. That's the first false summit. Come up and then summits start to emerge. Second full summit. And then right at the back of this is actually the top, the top of Shahalin. There we are. Just to bypass all these, this minefield of boulders here, look. This is what we're all talking about. So, so we've, we've landed on the moon, guys. This is all. We've landed on the moon, yeah? Landed on the moon! Mission control. Well, this is quite a steep rocky bit here. I'm going to try and tackle that. We've just came up there. Uh, to be honest, I'm quite enjoying myself actually. It's quite, quite fun. Let's try and get up here then. Eh? One rock at a time.
that's the next full summit. It's the top there. So, we're literally, literally walking on step stones now. There's no clear path. Back down there. Yeah, man, keep the same. I'll just sit right here. Okay. Hello, guys. <laughs> hey. <laughs> snack and uh, some water. We're going to head back down shortly. So how was it? It was alright. It's a tough hill but we made it up, you know. Ah, easy enough. Easy enough, wasn't it? Straightforward, yeah, wasn't it? But there's uh, going down, it's going to be another story. Going down, yeah. Avoiding all the boulders and stuff. You know? Do I think we can get an Uber up here? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> an, an Uber helicopter maybe, yeah? Just pretend you broke a leg. Just make my way back down now. This is back down the car park on the way. Got a fry up on the go, some rolls and eggs I think maybe. It's a sheep fold. Well, that's us making our way to the bottom gate now. Pretty much at the bottom. Nice, wee, easy descent all the way down. And I've not really had that much to eat, so we're going to get the rolls and the egg on. The top is gone. A cup of tea, I've had a cup of tea in ages actually. Had one this morning, that was it. So, There, once we reach that fence, the electric fence, just all the way to the car park. Well, we've made it back to the car park in one piece. We're here, made it's it. about three o'clock, so hey. we did it uh, about an average time, I'd say. But we, we spent a lot of time just chilling and having breaks, looking at the views and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, so, back at the car park. Um people are getting a bit remember to bring change for I think it's, it's two pounds for a a part the pain display it is but if you come to like today and Sunday it's free. So we go, so two pounds for all day but false information. Just Robert lying to his viewers. <laughs> it's nearly four o'clock, we've had our dinner. Uh, we just sat up on that wee bench again, up there, and we're about to head off. So, right. good day. Down, sure, okay. Good day. Yeah. Don't want to see any more sunlight for a while. Quite pleasant. <laughs> just going to lock myself in the cupboard. Yeah. 
the rest of the day. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, bye-bye. Bye-bye, Shahalin. Bye-bye, Shahalin. <laughs>